Listen to this melody. It's a pretty simple melody, right? It's got like seven different notes and they all go down. Now listen to what happens if I add this simple top melody. It feels sad, melancholic, faded. It's got that classic Juice World emo rap sound. Now, let's say you want to make a melody like this one. You want to make the listener feel all that sadness and sorrow that only a melody like this can make you feel. Well, what you're going to do is use what's called a 1-7-6 progression. These are three simple chords that when used correctly can land you in a very emotional sounding melody. And believe it or not, this simple formula right here is used in multiple different Juice World songs. And if you want to get better at making emotional progressions, you're gonna have to learn how to use it. This is how In My Head makes you feel sadness. Like I said, this melody uses a simple 1-7-6 progression. But what does that mean? Well, it basically means that you want to use chords originated from the 1st, 6th, and 7th note of your natural minor scale. To make chords off of these notes, we'll simply skip one scale note and add one note, and then do that same thing once again. The reason this progression sounds sad is because of two main reasons in my opinion. The first reason is that, well obviously this progression is going down, and descending melodies have a tendency to sound more emotional. And two, because here we can see there's a drop of third from the first chord here to the sixth chord here. This is known in music as a third interval because you're going from interval 1 in your scale to interval 2 and landing on interval 3, so a third. Drops of thirds have a tendency to add an emotional and a melancholic feeling to songs and music theory. Now this is the basis, this is what you're going to start with every time, but where you take it from here is up to you. What In My Head does is delete the top notes and delay the middle ones by one beat. It does that because at a BPM of around 160, adding too many notes per bar is going to sound like there's too much going on. Remember, you want to keep this simple. After that, it adds a top melody, but the notes you write here depend a lot on what you have on the notes down here. Listen. In music theory, we have a rule of thumb that says that notes that are placed here and here, meaning in beats 1 and 3, should most times be chordal notes. That means the same notes from your chords down here. And if you look closely, you will notice that this top note is the same note as the fifth of this chord. These two notes are the same as the root and third of this chord, and if you keep looking, you will keep finding that these top notes are simply copies of the notes of the chords below them, except for these two notes at the end of each 4-bar loop. The reason they added these notes that aren't the same as the ones below them, or non-chordal notes, as we say in music theory, is because non-chordal notes create movement in a melody. These notes here are nicely going down, so there is no real need for an extra push, but once you land here, the journey back to the top gets complicated. That's why these two non-chordal notes are here, to create the tension necessary to push Push this melody back to the top so you can smoothly loop over. And that's pretty much it. Now you know how the 176 formula can help you make emotional melodies. But this is not the only formula you should rely on to make your beats sound emotional. For example, how about a sad melody that doesn't go down like this one, but goes up instead? How would that work? Well, that is the case for Donda's True Love featuring XXX Tentacion. So it's up here to learn all the secrets hidden behind this melody and subscribe to not miss another melody breakdown by me. See ya!